Hello guys, this is Paul Milos Corp and Laravel Daily video channel, episode number 6 I think already. Today, uh, the topic of today is Laravel is not enough. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, I mean uh, the whole journey of the Laravel developer is usually, well, a back-end web developer is usually as follows. It's, it starts with HTML and CSS all the time, like basic things for the web. And then you choose whether you want to develop all well, front end or back end. And then if you want to go back end, then you choose language like PHP, Python, Ruby. And then within that language, you choose framework or frameworks. So in case of PHP, it's like uh, Symfony, Laravel, Coding Nights, or maybe Zend, Cake, whatever you want. And then uh, usually people stick with the framework they love, they want, and they, they know how to work with. So if you are uh, following this journey and you are in Laravel world currently, as I am actually, uh, and you work with Laravel specifically, I have some bad news for you. Uh, current trends on the market show that uh, more and more uh, front-end is needed for the back-end. So-called full-stack developers is uh, becoming uh, kind of a default reality. And I will show you five examples today of, um, of job offers from Upwork. Upwork might be bad in terms of like clients, and if you see some budgets, they are pretty ridiculous. But uh, uh, it does give a picture and impression on the market, what technologies are needed, what are the trends, and what, uh, what projects are built with Laravel currently. So if you, if, you, if you are building simple projects, Laravel may be enough. Like Laravel, MySQL, and front-end uh, probably bootstrap on some basic level, at least. Or some pre-built theme template that is bought from Theme Forest or Wrap Bootstrap or whatever is the website. That's enough. But for bigger projects or more custom projects, uh, you will have to dive into front-end at least on some level. And I will show you five examples, as I said. Example number one, uh, it's MS Access old uh, web app. Uh, it should be ported to Laravel, to the web. And, uh, well, the client says it all. Uh, prefer to work in a PHP-based development framework, such as Laravel, than Angular or Vue with built-in dynamic filters or group reporting. What does it mean, actually? Uh, Laravel is for backend for, uh, well, manipulating the data and storing the data and angular or view is for um, for filtering for for allowing the page not to refresh so if some drop down is changed then the data is changed uh, in the background via api call probably and uh, and it shows without uh, without refreshing the whole page so that's basically that's the most common usage of uh, front-end frameworks currently, and you could do that with jQuery, but jQuery is so unstructured and messy, let's call it this way, that um, everyone is moving towards some front-end framework, whether it's like Angular View or React or whatever. So that's example number one. Example number two, uh, pretty similar, uh, Laravel and Angular, and it says even in the title, Laravel and Angular, uh, with also semantic UI, which is like similar to Bootstrap, so there's not not much to learn there. But also, front-end Angular, Laravel back-end requirements, and both are required. It's not like uh, I'm looking for a back-end or with some Angular knowledge. It's almost 50-50. Example number three, it says it all in the title. Again, Angular plus Laravel and also D3 for, for charts. So this project is also about charts. So another trend actually uh, for most of the projects on not only Upwork in general, you would have to learn something new or uh, master some external tool like API integration with something, in this case D3.js. So there's, there are a lot of libraries, tools and packages which you have to learn along the way like Laravel Spark, Spark, for example, or like new front-end trends like Laravel Mix. Uh, a lot of things which you will learn along the way, and that's, that's the reality. So again, even from that point of view, Laravel is not enough. Uh, example number four is uh, CRM. So CRM is already 
mostly backend thing, uh, but also Vue.js. So Laravel 5.3 and frontend Vue.js. And also here you have MongoDB, so another trend basically. If you work with uh, projects with bigger data, you would have to use NoSQL. So MongoDB is one of the examples of NoSQL. Uh, and then possibly you, you could work with um, Elasticsearch, Algolia, and everything related to search for, for the data. If, if you have like millions or billions of, of data entries, and you have to search uh, for them pretty quickly. MySQL won't handle that typically. So you have to, to learn again and adapt some more sophisticated solutions. Elasticsearch, by the way, is getting <clears throat> more and more traction in Laravel world. Uh, so I recommend that too for expanding your knowledge. So this is example number four and example number five is also pretty similar. Although the title says Laravel 5.4 and MySQL Expert, the description says must be experienced with JavaScript, React.js, and Bootstrap. Must. It's not, it's not a like additional thing, it's a must. Um, so yeah, five examples from me, and I hope you get the whole idea that you have to look at the front end at least to some extent, and probably more and more. Uh, in Laravel world, Vue.js is actually getting more and more traction and popularity. <clears throat> Even uh, in recent Laracon Online, which happened just last week, uh, just check for the speakers, just uh, read, read the list if you haven't participated, if you haven't heard them speaking, uh, like uh, Vue.js creator was speaking, even Jeffrey Way was speaking about front-end, including Laravel Mix and Webpack and all of those things. So front-end is the trend even within Laravel community, and even Laracasts has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, courses and lessons on front-end. Uh, so I guess guys, we have to we have to be full stack the, these days. And uh, finalizing the whole thing, I will repeat the same thought uh, that Laravel is not enough these days. I hope I hope you agree. If you don't, or if you do agree, if you want to thank me or something, just put in uh, put in the comment below on the YouTube video. Or subscribe to the channel as well, Laravel Business, and visit our our tool, our sponsor. If you want to have Laravel admin panel built, it's quickadminpanel.com. And see you in the next episodes of Laravel Daily Video.